lot more heavily. There's a good blocks. 12 to 6 in favor of Colorado. To 6 in favor of Colorado. Make it 13 to 6. Campbell still alive. Into the block it goes. Punch it back up again. Hadrich to the net and Colorado to the win. Well, there's some highlights from the Buffs Invitational. Colorado's having a great early start to the volleyball season. Campbell, UNLV, North Texas. Look at that, the flat irons. We're grilling and chilling with coaches once again this week. This is my new favorite segment of the entire Buffalo Stampede. Voice of the Buffs, Mark Johnson, Jesse Mahoney, volleyball coach. Big grill guy? Uh, from time to time, right. yeah. What's from your favorite thing to grill? Oh, probably probably burgers. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah burgers. why wouldn't you? You know, last week we had brats. But, uh, and once again, this is all courtesy of our friends at Safeway, your local grocer since 1926. We've got some great lean ground beef for making burgers. Why wouldn't you? Coming off a holiday weekend for uh, Labor Day. Got some corn on here this week, too. That's kind of a nice deal. Fresh produce at Safeway as well. Great start to the season. Go back to that uh, Buffs Invitational. Uh, three quality programs come in here. You play very well against them. Yeah, I mean, we started off the season, uh, largest crowd in history on Friday night against UNLV. It was yeah. awesome. Uh, students really showed up. Um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, we went two and one on the season, uh, really trying to get into our rhythm. But yeah. uh, by the end of the weekend, playing really well and had a great weekend this, this past weekend as well. Coming through camp, Jesse, how did you feel about the makeup of this team, what you saw, what you thought were your strengths, where your questions were? Yeah, I mean, we were really lucky to go to Europe this summer, so we got an opportunity to work with everybody early. Um, we really have, and we have nine or ten new players, and then a lot of really uh, veteran players that have played a lot. Um, and so it's been a little bit of a mix trying to get the, the new kids in and the older kids um, kind of ready to go. But uh, I really like where we are right now. Yeah. Some of the, the, the newness that you brought in. Give us a couple of highlights. Who, who's contributing here early on for you? Well, Sky Howard uh, is a fantastic player, uh, super athletic, and really doing a lot for us in the middle. Uh, Lily Dwinell, a freshman, has come in and started for us on the right side. Uh, that's been fantastic. And then we have some players that have been here for a little while. Um, Morgan is playing libero for us. Um, it's her senior year. She's finally getting an opportunity. So, um, And really, everyone's kind of participating in the mix right yeah. now. Yeah, well, the team is playing very, very well. Those burgers are smelling good, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, good stuff right there. We're going to throw some cheese on. Got to have cheeseburgers when you're grilling and chilling with coaches. By the way, we're going to hear from some of the young players for the Colorado Buffaloes. Let's start out with Sky Howard. Definitely our preparation, but I think just coming into the game, we were all mentally locked in to their offensive patterns, just something that we haven't really seen before. So just making sure that I knew my hitter, knew what was coming at us, and just not losing sight and just keeping my focus on the hitters kind of helped me with blocking today. I think from since I got here, I knew this was going to be a good group of girls. This was going to be a good team this year. I think we're finding our groove, like finding our game, how we play, how we play with each other. And I think we're doing a good job finding that. I just hope that we keep keep our foot on the gas pedal <laughs> and keep it going. I think we were just really built a lot of momentum throughout the whole match. And the energy was really good. And we were like, playing really well together. And so it just made the match really fun. and. You know, we were able to get them out of system a lot and that made our blocking a lot easier. And then with the good ball control, we were able to put balls away and just made it, the game a lot easier because we played so well. Ah, the burgers, you hear them sizzle right now. We're chilling and grilling with coaches, Jesse Mahoney, volleyball coach, Sky and, and Lily. We just heard from the two of them, two of your young players. Tell, tell us where they came from and about those recruitments. Yeah, so Sky, uh is a, a transfer. Uh, she came from um, North Carolina, uh, played opposite there. Uh, she's using her COVID year here, okay. um, which you know a lot of players around the country still have an opportunity to do. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, super athletic, super energetic, love having her. Uh, Lily's from Southern California. Um, again, great player, played on the national championship team um, for her 18 club team wave, um, and has really come in and made an impact for us right away. You know, with the news recently about moving back to the back Big 12, what, what does that do for you from a volleyball standpoint? How does that affect things? Yeah, I mean, right now it's hard to say. Um, you know, we recruited uh, in the Pac-12 footprint so much, but the Pac-12 isn't there anymore, right? Sure. So the footprint's going to change a little bit. Excited to get into Texas, uh, into Houston, into Dallas, places like that. I think, um, you know, the old Big 8, Big 12 days, um, we had a lot of good players from there, and uh, I think we can do that again. Right now, volleyball is on a heck of a roll. Is it five consecutive sweeps? For you? I believe that's correct. Yeah, yeah. including the, the Buff Classic this past weekend. They uh, took care of, uh, let's see, you had Xavier and Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Your defense must be fantastic as a line, huh? 
Yeah, I mean, we're doing a nice job, uh, I think, overall. Offensively, um, we're, you know, hitting over 400 this last weekend. And then defensively, a lot of people are kind of getting in the mix, um, which has been good to see. And, you know, our, our second game this weekend, we got some of our younger players on the floor, which was exciting, uh, and get their kind of first opportunity to play collegiate ball. So, um, yeah, it's been a good start. You know, Coach Barnett in football always says to me that it takes about four or five games to determine what you are on the football field. How long into a volleyball season until you know, until Jesse Mahoney knows exactly what my team is? Yeah, that's a good question. I think uh, early on, everyone's going to struggle with serving and passing and ball handling, and we're getting better there. That's been my concern with this group because we were so good at that last year. Um, but we're progressing in the right way, and then it'll really take until we get into the Pac-12 to see how we match up there, really what we need to do. But um, I'm excited for the pieces that we have. And I'm looking forward to it. What, what do you like, medium, medium well? What, what's your I'll go medium well. Medium well. Yeah, yeah, like we got a little more time. Well. That wraps up the Bubbly Stampede this week. Don't forget, we got football coming up, an early one again on Saturday. Nebraska coming to town, 8 a.m. with the pregame, 10 a.m. with the kickoff between the Buffs and the Huskers. We're grilling and chilling with coaches, brought to us by Safeway, your local grocer since 1926. You know it pays to use the Safeway deals and delivery app. You can use the app to schedule grocery pickup and delivery. Get your groceries from the convenience of your car with drive up and go curbside pickup. Use promo code SAVE30 for $30 off your first order from Safeway. Safeway. That'll put a wrap on the Bubble Stampede. I'm Voice of the Bus, Mark Johnson. We'll talk to you next week.